So we're gonna put the wheel on the, on the Ice Bear Champion. You'll pull your slot out, it's a little plastic piece. Do not hit the front brake or you'll have to compress this again, which isn't that hard. But it comes compressed. So you'll have your wheel speed sensor, which just goes right onto here. Just like so. I've never put Loctite, I've only done one bike. I didn't put Loctite on it, but you can. Doesn't really need it. Put just a little red and tacky in there. It comes with grease, but I always just put some extra. Your spacer, this will be in the box of parts that comes with the Champion. Your nut and your axle with a little bit of grease on that as well. So, get your wheel, rotor side, take your spacer, slide it right in. I'll stand up and just delicately slide it in there into the caliper first. Take your axle. It's easier if you do it from above just a little so you can see where your axle sits and everything. Fish it through. I'll rotate it so you can see. There's my axle sticking through. If you support the bottom of the wheel. So the speed sensor has this nub here, and then the threads are the, where the actual cable goes in. Face it, basically orientate it like, orientate it like this. This, these nubs will go right here, right there, on the fork. So we'll take that, let the wheel fall just a little bit, and if you're having issues sliding this, rotate the fork. Okay, so once again, see where that's locked into place, your cable attachment is back here towards the back. Support it from the bottom. Bottom. Okay. And come around the back. Oh, there it is. And just fish the actual axle through. You can see it. Push it all the way through. Don't force it because it will mess up your threads which I already had. This is the axle that came bent. I have a new axle on the way, but more than one person asked for a front wheel video. So if you see, you can see that little bit of movement in there. So we will Start the thread, and just for the sake of videoing, I'm going to use a Milwaukee. You don't need to use a Milwaukee. Most things on these bikes, I would not recommend using power tools while putting together. Taking apart is okay, but putting together is a bad idea. So it's snug, about that much sticking out. Now we'll come back around here to the back of it. See how it's not moving, nice and tight. Spin it, hit the front brake. There it is, you get a pump it a couple times. Okay. 
there's the front wheel. And then this, pull your nut back, feed it through, spin it, and just slide this up. And if it has issues getting to grab, go backwards. It's kind of funky with the cable, but you can go backwards, listen for the click, and then start going forward. And the click that you'll feel slash hear, sorry, that was my air compressor blowing off. The click that you hear slash feel is the threads on the nut jumping to the fresh start on the bolt. And then just hand tighten it down. I got a little bit of grease in my hand, so. Wipe it on down. And there you go. Check your PSI in the tires. Let's see if I can find the size. Uh, the max PSI here. Actually, I do not see the max PSI. Huh. There you go. First video.